the Golden Terra and Ronnie Garvin and two men with us here at ringside finally interested in this match and I'm sure going to be watching every move in that ring Mr. James J. Dillon and Tully Blanchard as you two have got a vital interest in this Ronnie Garvin. Well, I think Garvin's got a lot more interest than us than we do in him. Well, Sully Blanchard is holding the National Heavyweight Championship belt. Garvin's made it perfectly clear that he's out after the World Championship. He'd like to regain the national title, which would cement him as a top contender for the world title. But I've been watching Garvin, and I know his big gun is that big punch. I frankly thought that when we took that out of his arsenal, that he'd kind of slide down the rankings like a water slide in the summertime, but he's managed somehow to headbutt a few people and to chop a few people and still bring out some victories, and I, I I really thought he would have fallen by the wayside, and with the bashes right around the corner, I know that they're looking to put all the top contenders against each other, and with this vendetta that Garvin has for Mr. Blanchard to try and get that title back, I, I want to keep a close eye on him and watch each and every match. And what about from your viewpoint, Mr. Kelly Blanchard? Well, Bob Cotter, the only way to stay on top and stay the national heavyweight champion or any kind of champion is to know who's nipping at your heels and know what kind of conditioner is. That Ronnie Garvin was hurt and he was hurt bad. But, as all things change, your body has a tendency to heal. So Ronnie Garvin's hand is not going to be injured forever. Right. So I'm just out here doing a little scouting to make sure I'm staying on top of the heat and knowing what everybody coming up the ladder is doing. All right, and fans, and I'm sure that James J. Dillon and Tully Blanchard are aware of it, and most of you fans are. You talk about that hand healing. He's the man with a hand of stone. I don't think he needs anything around that hand when that hand healed the turn anybody's lights out. Well, I just saw him throw a chop, and it had an effect on the gold terror, but it has still a little bit of effect on Garvin. I noticed that he's favoring it, and I think it's just a matter of time. If he doesn't get that hand back 100%, I think that somebody's going to come up with something to put him out, and I, I just, I really think that he's reluctant. He's got in the back of his mind that he's afraid to throw it, and I notice he's trying everything that he possibly can to, to pull off victories without throwing that big punch. And as long as he's got that in the back of his mind, I think Mr. Garvin's the one that's in trouble. And I want to watch this match in particular because tonight, frankly, I don't think he's I don't think he's confident enough to throw the big punch. Well, and he's in against a tough one in the Golden Terra, but Tully Blanchard, that national championship belt that you wear around your waist, that's one thing that Ronnie Garvin has got his eyes on. He's got his eyes also on the world championship. I don't like to see that. That surprised, frankly, that surprised me. I, I don't like to listen to it. I was going to say, he thinks he's got to go through you to get to the world champion. Well, well Bob Cotter, little... tough on you. Punch or no punch, hands of stone or no hands of stone. The bottom line is Tully Blanchard's a national heavyweight champion. Hands of stone, Ron Garvin. Ron Garvin
well, maybe Jimmy Garvin is not worried about winning or losing a match. He's just worried about getting even. So in that, in that sense, why not lose control? Why not let it all hang out? Here he comes. Yeah! The gun's loaded. And the stone. Ron Garvin puts another one. 